Wow, what do we got? Odin. Give me the inhaler. And a uh, eye pack with lots of stuff. Hey there, shocker zombie. I don't want you roaming around my area. Hmm, I have no silent way of killing this guy. Like he's pretty determined to head north. It's fine by me. Uh-oh, full strength fat up. I want to fight you right now. I not been in here yet. Fast bottle. Is this grocery store? Smoking lounge. F zombies almost dead. Fat zombies not. wooden box. <laughs> All about swords. All right, I'll take that. Uh, so my near-term goals, I want, yeah, let's take that. I want to get, uh, whoops. Molotov's going. I also want to um, do throwing and maybe quarter staff. We started as a pitcher on the baseball team, so I'm hopeful we can do some throwing with some fun stuff. All right, not much else here. I'm going to come down this way just briefly as we work our way back towards the house. I just want to sweep along and see if I can... Crap, there's going to be a million dead zombies in these bushes over here. Full strength zombie runner, huh? These windows are open. <laughs> oh man, here we go. 357, another baseball bat. How many dead zombies are here? Only three, supposedly? Sure looks like more. I think some of them died here. No, their items don't drop anymore. These are all on these corpses. Huh. more corpses more corpses yeah somebody needs to report this if it hasn't been reported already somebody somebody that's not me needs to report this nonsense this is silly the rose bushes have a higher kill count by far than I I do at this point <laughs> I, I disappear behind the uh Behind the tile there. <laughs> if I move north, you can't see me. Just kind of make out the top of my head right here. <laughs> More lycra. Let's get that door open. Remington shotgun. Three corpses. All right, 
What are you doing to me? It's weird. Whatever. Ooh, a V8. Oh, that's why it's not working. I wasn't using the grab command to check the wallets. Chopsticks. Yeah, give me one more of those. Ah, <laughs> we've re-upped our butter supply. I knew there was a basement here. Aluminum broadhead bolts. Kind of an odd find. Gauze, antiseptic. First aid kit. And let's have a multivitamin while we're here. Hey, we'll have a V8 and some more. Ooh, ski pants? Maybe ski pants? Cotton. <laughs> Alright, uh. Alright, that should not be a cockroach. An iBot? The hell are you doing down here, Mr. iBot? <laughs> what are you fleeing from? Hmm. Wonder if I can get some melee skill and if he'll summon uh, riot bots in the basement or if they'll appear up above or if they'll have no effect. Come here. There we go. Oh, I can't quite lock him into this position. We're actually damaging him. Damn it. Oh, well. I was hoping I wouldn't be able to actually do any damage <laughs> with my bare hands. I wasn't even using the uh, the fists or the uh, knuckles. I was hoping we could uh, hit him without actually damaging him and raise our, our melee skill. Lots of laundry baskets. A chemistry set. Sure, I'll take a chemistry set. Backpack. Oh, kitty cat. <clears throat> I'm gonna step right into a riot bot. All right, so we got another house with a uh, clean basement that we can retreat into if necessary. Let's pop out the back. Boxes. The children. Go back to the scrap knuckles. I just can't believe the amount of missing I'm doing. Well, 52. 52 is a lot. Why are you so high right now? Is it because of the encumbrance? Or have I forgotten something? Oops. Ugh, come on. <laughs> no, it must be the encumbrance. 29 encumbrance now, huh? All right, that's that's a lot of encumbrance. Still no sign of a body site back here. A wheelbarrow. 68 volume wheelbarrow, huh? Hmm. 
Keep it in mind. Alright. Uh, south. What zombie? Full strength SWAT zombie. Let's, um... Let's not practice on you. Come here, buddy. Follow me back to the window. Come on. Not what I was hoping for. Alright, I guess that black ops zombie was just really random. My tricycle? My children's tricycle! Yes, we gotta do a tricycle run. Uh-oh, I can't ride it off the uh, pavement. <laughs> Apparently it has no off-road capability. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Come here, tricycle. Uh, I could drag it out to the street, I guess, and then ride it around. <laughs> We've got a tricycle and a, a rubber hose. Mm. One of these days, tricycle. We shall do a run together, you and I. We'll see if we can get a 50 cal mounted on it. If I can get an M2 mounted on it, we'll give it a try. 11 long strings? Sure, I'll take 11 long strings. Leather hot pants. Yeah, I'm really not having much luck trying to figure out where this other material I can get. Synthetic fabric. One leather pants. Uh oh. So many basements. This can be a really good condition vehicle. Broken security, faulty engine, barely enough battery charge, a little bit of gas. Uh, we should be safe to turn the light on. What you got? Starter, air filter, fuel filter. So the filters, we could still drive, but the starter is going to be a problem. So, can't drive it. Oh. I think I'm going to try to disassemble that. Get that out of there. Alright, I hear a zombie coming. We'll deal with that. Come on, zombie! I don't remember if I've read a restaurant guide. I think I have. Disassemble fire extinguisher. Ah, I don't have my bolt turning tool with me. 
Um, darn it. Well, right across the street from my base. All right, we'll keep the uh, the thing wielded. Got to remember not to fight <laughs> between here and home. Okay, basement. There's a zombie in the way. So much for not uh, fighting. Uh, we better go with Boopinator. Out of the way, zombie. <laughs> More carbon fiber hunting. Have they increased the drop rate on those things? Or is this just weird? But I keep finding them all of a sudden. Their chemistry's. Boop tank. Another baseball bat. We're finding plenty of those, and the hope is that I can transition away from the baseball bats. All right, that uh, I think fairly well explores the local area. So apparently we do not have a soldier body site nearby. I have no idea. Hello, Dissolute Devourer. No idea why or where that uh, Black Ops zombie showed up from. Let's not bash him to death with the uh, fire extinguisher. What the? What the? <laughs> Somebody came down here while I was running around. All right, I see. I see how it is. Yep, that space is overloaded. Everything's going to there now. Okay with that. All right. Uh, candle. Disassemble fire extinguisher. So we wanted that because we get the, uh, the steel jerry can. That will give me a good carry capacity for gasoline. We come upon a... Upon a Larger source, which I think we've got plenty right there at the gas station. I just didn't have a uh, a container. So we'll make that our next priority. Uh, so we've got the Molotovs. You and you. Container can stay there. Get the bandage refreshed again. Go uh, finish my gasoline pickups next. Oh, it's so nice to be able to see. So nice to be able to see. Uh, let's go for scrap knuckles. Really? Fine. We'll do it, we'll do it the way we're supposed to. Over here, zombie.
Why are you... Really? Really? You're gonna be that way? Oh, it's because I had that in my hands. Alright, we'll avoid these for now. Go get our gas. Now we have some gasoline. 20 liters plus the uh, the gallon jug. I would still happily grab... Oh, there's another working vehicle. That'll be a perfect junker vehicle for me to travel in. Perfect. All right, let's uh, ditch that for the moment. Get the knuckles back out. Lure this zombie into a fight. Oh yeah. Uh, how much gas? 1.5. I guess while we're here. I hate zombie children. Oh, brute. I don't want to deal with a brute. Brute with one bar of health. Do I risk it? Uh, I'd love to drop him. I think the correct way to deal with him, though, is going to be... Whoops. <laughs> that was a little bit faster than I expected. <laughs> I don't want to push him into the... Uh-oh, he's in the vehicle now. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't want to push him into the gas tanks. Uh, stop. Stop. Open the door. God damn it. There goes my hiking backpack again. Please don't super punch me. Let's see. He did a pretty good job wrecking my nifty new vehicle. All I need to do is get one guaranteed first swing on him to drop him with the bat. I got no, uh, no windows, no shrubbery. Vehicles, the only likely thing nearby I can use. Dude, you're moving a little faster than I like. You play with that for a minute. <laughs> or two seconds. Alright, you guys are making a mess of my, my vehicle. Get out of my car. Ugh, stupid zombies! Now that I don't have other distractions. Where'd you go, big guy? He's probably still out back. Well, Whoa! Super punch I really don't need. Run mode. Need to tap him. All right, back to what I was trying to do. <laughs> uh, 
guess I can just walk right out the front now. That should be enough. All right, so 5.6 liters, plenty of that. Everything else looks okay. Frames almost gone. The wheels are one level in. Yeah, we're good. That'll be a perfect running around vehicle. Come here, you. I really don't like that I can't just do this anymore to see all the items. Really bothers me. <laughs> it makes it a, such a hassle to go loot things. Especially when you're in an environment like this where you might kill dozens of things at once. And you have to run around and check everything. Oh, another messenger bag. Grab that. About the only thing I know that has the uh, synthetic. Oh, another military rucksack. Um, come here, military rucksack. <laughs> hey there, dissolute. I'll know where he's going. The let's park. base. This is also a working vehicle. I think I'll park up here facing north. Hundred seventy pounds. Hundred and seventy pounds. That's a bit. Hmm. What did I pick up that's so heavy? Other than you know, a steel jerry can full of gasoline. Uh, the tough zombie is about kaput. Grab poopinator just in case he gets close. He may follow me in, so we'll have to come back out and deal with him. All right, so well, those that except for that. Yes, yes. Yes. Well, at 102 uh rucksack. Ah, chemistry set. That's the added weight I was looking for. That's better. 76. Alright. Uh, hit points looking good. We took another hit to the leather or the hiking backpack. That we can fix now. Yay us. We've got plenty of gas for whatever adventures we might need. Go we'll deal with that tough zombie if he's still around out here. That zombie web zombie. Don't know where he went. All right, so let's see. item molotovs to rubber duckies hmm. it's a little tough with uh, items that are uh, stackable
Yeah, see, it just does one. Hard to do with those kind of items. No, I'm not going to rename them all. Alright, so... Hmm. We got some of the parts I need for repairs. We got gas. We got a couple of junker vehicles. We've picked our site that we're going to try to build the base out of. Let's, uh, let's work our way over there and do a little bit of clearance in the area. And then we'll come back and maybe load up a vehicle. Already almost 3 o'clock, so I don't have a lot of day or a lot of nighttime left. Yeah, let's, let's do that. We'll do it on foot. Need zombie dog. So clearing this area now is fairly irrelevant. <laughs> Since I'm going to be leaving it and I won't be constantly reclaiming it. This is what? The radio station? No. The laundromat. Good for bleach. No controls. Okay. Third clothing store. Alright. Go visit the clothing store again. No wheels. No controls. No control. Pretty good amount of gas, but that's not really an issue. Uh. Mm -hmm. Tuxedos, top hats. Another tailor's kit. Got all the books. Red. Alright, I think that's it. Wheels. So, this is the garage we're looking at setting up a base in. The reason we're thinking of doing it here, or I've decided to do it here, is because it has a, an upper floor. Uh, and quite a few raw materials available here locally. And then we've got the, uh, the subway right next door. So we can go try to clear out the subway. And uh, go have subway adventures. Hopefully we can find a lab or something underground that would make things a little more interesting. But we got tons and tons of tools and welding supplies in here. I'm a little concerned about the strength of the walls. They're not the strongest. But, like I said, we do have an upper area. I just need to get some step ladders put together so we can uh, escape from up here. So we'll put our workshop up here. Uh, and our, our items and materials and all that. Uh, but we'll put a step ladder on a couple of different corners of the building. And that way, if anything does, a uh, horde gets to me downstairs and I have to retreat upstairs, I can uh, drop a step ladder off the edge of the building and then climb right down with no danger of falling. So we'll set up a few step ladders up here to go along with all the other stuffs. Okay, um, we cleared the library. Not too many zombies in the area. Oh, look at that. I forgot, we got the full moon bonus now. When I went upstairs, we got, uh, because of the binoculars and the full moon bonus, we got a bit of a look around even further. We got a full hospital down south. More recycling centers, more bookstores. School way off a ways. Alright. 
Any cathedrals near? Not really. I haven't run across any clean uh, rubber boots yet. Thinking of maybe just going to the uh, subway and killing a few zombies. We know this house has got a safe basement and uh, it's an electronic supply. I've even got a horde indicator blinking over here. I don't see anything else in the immediate area I'm too keen on getting to right now. So let's uh, let's go up to the subway. Let's see if we can get a few of the subway crowd killed with our limited amount of hit points. So, my night vision's not going to be working here. I either have to turn the lights on or something. Maybe they've moved. Can I get to the corner? Oh, look at that. Please don't trap me. Please don't trap me. Lots and lots of charcoal and medium batteries. And a subway map. And a jackhammer! We got the jackhammer. The toolbox, but we already have all the basic tools. We got the gas jackhammer, 70 pounds. No space. No problem. We'll uh, pull that, whoops, pull that off the shelf. Drag it to the stairs for the moment. Right. That up and up. Up to safety. I'm not sure if they've uh, wandered up and down or if they're in here still. Oh, they're in here still. I've tried to build a base in this middle section before. I was going to do a uh, an underground dweller, a chud run, cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller. But um, I, I just got nonstop invasions of zombies from both the stairs below and above. They just just would not stop. I, every ten minutes they were showing up, and it was just I couldn't I couldn't base in here because of that. These are all going to be full strength too. Maybe one more hit, please. Damn it! <laughs> I tell you what, I'm taking a, I'm saving a lot of hit points by the amount of damage this hiking backpack's taking. Uh oh. I hate child zombies. I think I've mentioned that once or twice. Whoops. Uh, that's not a good situation. Climb that fence. Out of there. Anybody follow me? No. Come on. Come on. Put pressure. All right, fine. Uh, we'll just... Keep forgetting I should use the real ones in those circumstances. All right, um, get the jackhammer safely out of here. I'm going to leave that closed. Whoa, here comes that weird false dawn again. Gets me in trouble every time. I hate this thing. I don't know if it's still, I still haven't heard if this is intentional or not. I think I'll leave it over by the stairs. All 
All right, jackhammer secured. Uh, we're going back to base. I get freaked out when this happens. Notice it shows me lit up, but they're not actually seeing me. But it it freaks me out. <laughs> it, it really freaks me out. So we're we're out of here. I don't know exactly when I can rely on being spotted or not. It's gonna be a while, but uh, just it bugs me. I don't know why this is happening. Alright. Oh, and just loot devour. Um I don't remember, are you allowed to go in windows? No, nope, you're gonna collapse that if I stay here. Uh really don't want him to collapse that wall. Come here, buddy. I think he can't go in the vehicle either. Not. Let's see. Leave me alone. Wow, this guy's a little, a little quick. Oh, my speed's 79. Why is my speed 79? Now my. Oh, I was grabbed. That's why. <laughs> like, what? Alright, come to me, little dissolute devourer. 44 crit smash. 32 crit. Damn it. My socks are cut. 20. 16. 30. 22. Hiking backpack again. Please do not kill my hiking backpack. This, this guy has absorbed a few, uh, a few zombies. There we go. He got absorbed a few. Multi-tool. Alright. That's more damage than I was hoping to take. subway map codeine light a fire Get a candle going grab some more bandages Good night. All right, so sun's gonna come up. Um, let's use that map before I forget again. Hmm. So is this the one I'm connected? Yeah, that's the one right next to the garage. Uh-oh, what do we got over here? <laughs> Come on, why are, you, why are you blue? Hmm. I want to say that's a connection to a lab, but usually it doesn't say something other than that. It's been a while since I spent much time underground. Yeah, looks like those are 
the closest ones of note. Too bad there's not a connection from here to here. <laughs> That'd be nice. I'd rather not drag my stuff like that. If there was a connection this way, I would be tempted to just uh, drag my pile of crap two houses up to the subway there, then underground to that subway, back upstairs, go there. Of course, I'd have to clear the mid-level of both subways and everything in between, but probably safer to do it above ground. We've got the vehicles to get it done pretty easily now. How much crap have I got stockpiled here? Yeah, it's only 442 liters. So, I don't think I have any cargo spaces, but it's what, 200 for, uh... Let me go check my cargo capacity here. Not counting the uh, SWAT truck, which is seats, not storage units. Hey, look, now I don't have the little circle of light thingy on me. <laughs> Just going underground apparently fixes that. All right, what do we got back here? 50 for animal compartments? Yeah, that's not great. Stow board with 62. That's pretty poor. Maybe I don't have what I need. We got 400 between the two trunks there. I can I can weed out some stuff I won't be taking. We got 50 from the seats. Ah, uh, that's probably going to be enough. We'll just use the beetle. We'll make two trips if we have to. Beetle's nice and maneuverable. So we'll just uh, relocate this thing. Get inside. All right, that way we can just drag our gear to here and dump it right into the trunks. Clear my path of obstructions. I think we are all set to uh, to relocate. Should be pretty easy, pretty easy relocation. What is better, full plate or chain mill, and why? It's all about the weight. How much weight can your character handle and still carry around a decent amount of other gear? If you got a strong, strong character, you'll want plate mail. If you don't have a super strong character, you want chain mail, <laughs> and or both. Why are you doing an or question? <laughs> you can actually wear both. So if you want protection, both. <laughs> that is the correct answer. But mostly it comes down to weight. The plate armor is really heavy. Generally, for most characters, you're not going to be able to wear plate armor and carry your regular running around gear and have anything left over to actually pick up anything. As with all things, depends on circumstances. Mostly in this case, what kind of character you got. In particular, the strength of your character. All right, uh, so we're gonna do some healing. Um, we're gonna read the day away again, and then we're gonna move to the other base. I think I'm gonna miss having all of these mapped locations, and safe spots ready to go. Oh, that's right. I got to make sure I go down and get the, uh, go visit way down here and get a hold of the engine crane and the welding cart. Although, do I need the welding cart now? Yeah, I need the welding cart. I don't want to have to manufacture the uh, vehicle welding rig. At the very least, I need to go down there, 
drag it into a building where I can have cover and then just rip out the uh, vehicle welding rig. I don't so much need the cart. I just want the vehicle welding rig. But yeah, we want to go grab both of those. Those are important. I think that's the only thing I remember being particularly important about this area. Other than uh, avoiding the wasps. Oh, and the gunsmith. All right, so two things. Visit the gunsmith, get inside, and uh, go down and get those items. So that'll be our plan for tomorrow night. Very first thing, we'll try to accomplish those two things, and then if we still have time when we get done, we'll, uh, we'll do the relocation. All your base stats are eight. Yeah, you're going to have a problem putting the, the, the plate armor on. I would go with the uh, chain mail. You could still keep the plate armor for emergency circumstances. If you know you're going to need to go into a heavy fight or something, you can toss it on. But I wouldn't be running around in it regularly. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Fix the backpack again. <laughs> Might have to go take apart some more of that leather stuff. Wrap them out of out of leather again. Uh, it takes so much to repair these backpacks. Four, huh? It can wait. I'll have to switch out again. I think. Ouch. That's right. I can't. Hey, look at that. Smoke appeared in the space. <laughs> Good thing we vacated. That's why I haven't been wearing the leather backpack. Crowbar bat problem. All right, fine. Go back to the hiking backpack. Fourteen hours. That's funny. Still didn't get it to the top. Oh, there we go. All right, so everybody's back to where it's supposed to be. Um, back to reading. Those are, oh, we're obese. <laughs> Time to lay off the butter diet. Yep, all right, gear's in good shape. Let's do some more reading. Uh, what are we working on? Uh, am I still working on... Actually, I need to try to convert some of what I've learned into practical. Uh, what are we up to? Healering. Still fine. Still need to work on getting fab to five. And then mechanics was the other one. We're knowledge level two. What can I craft? Pipe cleaner. Ooh. 
Sure. <laughs> Just destroying the water over and over. And to actually make them? 